at a long-term care facility, there are some household transmission studies where you follow individuals over time and you look at the proportion of those that transmit onwards. Um, we are constantly looking at this data and we're trying to get more information from countries to truly answer this question. It still appears to be rare that an asymptomatic individual actually transmits onward. What we really want to be focused on are is following the symptomatic cases. If we followed all of the symptomatic cases, because we know that this is a respiratory pathogen, it passes from an individual through infectious droplets. If we actually followed all of the symptomatic cases, isolated those cases, followed the contacts and quarantined those contacts, we would drastically reduce. I would love to be able to give a proportion of how much transmission we would actually stop, but it would be a drastic reduction in transmission. If we could focus on that, I think we would we would do very, very well in terms of suppressing transmission. But from the data we have, it still seems to be rare that an asymptomatic person actually transmits onward to a secondary individual.